world will know that you're my disciple. When you come together and show love for one another, we are exemplifying right now the love of Christ. And I just want to say, we love you. And I tell you, this is how heaven is going to look. Yeah. This is how heaven is going to look. Bless you. Amen. Pastor Jeremy, come and greet the people, please. What's up, brother? Shout out from the back. Yeah. Uh, it's good to be here tonight. Uh, this is the second time that y'all have done this. This is our first time coming and being a part of it and having people baptized, so we're excited to be here tonight. And, uh, you know, I was just thinking of the scripture down there uh, in 1 Corinthians, um, and I knew I was going to go blank on it right now after Rob gave me a shout out and made me, made me lose my train of thought. Uh, that was a joke. Uh, no, but it says, let there be real harmony in the church so there won't be divisions or there won't be splits in the church. And I'm just thankful for what God is doing, developing real harmony in the church. And the longer that we go along and we are praying for one another and working together, churches are starting to help each other in all different kinds of ways and call on each other. And every time I see that happening and every time we're a part of it, I just always uh, just feel like that's what the church should be. This is what it should have been all along. And so it's great to see what God's doing. So I want to say thanks to everyone for being here tonight from all the different churches. And uh, it's just a blessing to be a part of this together. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. Pastor Bill Henderson, why don't you come and greet the people? Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know what? We're from Fontana, Storm Shelter Church. You folks getting together in harmony, it's starting to make a splash zone. Yeah. It's getting a little bigger. It's getting a little bigger. It's Amen. getting over to Fontana. And now Amen. it's splashing over into San Bernardino. We've been meeting with a group in San Bernardino, but now God is connecting the valley from Pomona to San Bernardino, from Corona to Cucamonga. Amen. Amen. We believe that with the event, with the event that happened in San Bernardino, all the world is looking at our valley. Yeah. All the world is looking at our valley. And we believe we have the potential for a fountain to birth from this valley. Amen. A fountain to burst from this valley that will water the world. Amen. So thank you for inviting us. In Jesus' name, be glorified, Lord. Amen. 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 Pastor Charles Johnson, come on, man. Greet the people. We greet everyone in Jesus' love and in Jesus' joy. What a pleasure and an honor in order to be here. And just look around at somebody who's next to you and tell them, it's so good to be next to you. It's so good to be next to you. <laughs> it's good to be next to you. I, I wish I could be a cool pastor like this one with a microphone that comes right out of my ear. Um, but we just do a real ghetto style in Corona community. Amen. <laughs> we love the Lord. Amen. We love everybody here. And what an exciting thing to be with everyone in the house. Amen. Well, what we want to do right now is we're getting ready for the baptism. Pastor Charles is going to come back in a minute here, and he's going to give a charge to those that are getting baptized. So I would like to have everybody that's getting baptized come and stand on this step right here all the way around right now come on up here if you're getting baptized yeah come on up here get up there where they can see you come on up wow we need some pictures on this huh I just seen Pastor Otto. Pastor Otto, why don't you come real quick and greet the people? He's the other church here. Pastor Otto, come on, hurry up, man of God. Yeah. Come and greet the people. Oh, I'm sorry. God bless you, everybody. Last time, a couple of pastors asked me why I didn't say anything in Spanish. 
So I'm going to pray for this, this people that are committing their lives to Jesus and being witness of being disciples and start working not as just uh, spectators of the kingdom but doers and uh, being real committed people to the Lord of Lord and uh, to the King of Kings Amen. the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ Amen. Eh, Buenas tardes a todos los queremos levantar una bendición para todo este pueblo y nosotros estamos convencidos que los cielos se han abierto para dejar caer el Espíritu Santo sobre ellos y será una noche de gloria yeah. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Pastor Charles, come on Here are the candidates today All right, good evening you guys and what a wonderful and beautiful day for you guys to make this kind of commitment unto the Lord. We greet you guys today and know that this is a serious journey that you guys are taking. I want you to hear what the Lord says of this particular act so that you can know what you're doing. And then I'm going to ask you a series of questions and I'm going to get you the ability to answer those questions. For parents who are here, If you have children who are getting baptized, I'm going to turn to you and then ask you a question and ask that you would stand in honor and reverence of your kids because for their baptism, we have to make sure that we raise them in a godly way. Amen. Listen to what the word of God commands. Here are the words of St. John in the third chapter, beginning at the first verse. Now, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, the ruler of the Jews. This And he said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher from God. No one can do these signs unless you do them and unless God is with him. And Jesus answered him, truly, truly, I say unto you, unless you are born anew, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb? And Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say unto you, unless one is born of water and of spirit, He cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh. And that which is born of spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I have said this to you that you must be born anew. The wind blows where it wills. And you hear the sound of it. Do not know where and from whence it has come or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. On this first day of this new month of this year, what a great day. To start a new life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Baptism is a commitment of saying that I agree to let the old man, the old woman die. And when you go down into that water, it is like going down into the grave. And when you come out of that water, it is coming up with the new man, the new woman of who God has created you to be. There are some folk who will look at you and say, you still look the same. Your name is still the same. You still live at the same place. But the change begins on the inside. The key is, is that I'm under new management. Amen? So you're under new management. And as you go through this outward sign of an inward change, be renewed in your mind. The prayer that we pray is create within me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Listen to the question, and then if you agree, I want you to say, I agree. Do you renounce the devil and all his works, the vain pomp and glory of this world? Do you give up the covetous desires of the flesh? And will you agree to not follow or be led by your flesh? If you agree, I want you all to say, I agree. And do you believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, and rose again on the third day, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
where he will come to judge the quick and the dead. And do you believe in the world that the Lord will come back again in the Holy Spirit, the church universal, the communion of saints and the remission of sins, the resurrection of the body and everlasting life? If you agree, you say we agree. Do you agree to pray regularly? Do you agree to study your scriptures? Do you agree to stay in fellowship with other believers? Because the devil picks us off when we try to do it on our own. Do you agree to the best of your ability to live as God has called you to live? If you agree, say, I agree. Amen. I'm going to ask at this time if there are parents of young people who are up here, if you would stand. Amen. So to these parents of kids who are making this awesome commitment at this age, it is our duty to ensure that they pray, to ensure that they know the scriptures, to ensure that they're raised in a household that is free from craziness. Somebody ought to say amen. That's free from drama. Amen. You might have to put some folk out, amen, in order to save their lives. But we're making an agreement that as they commit themselves to God, we must do our part. Here's your question. Do you agree to do your best to be the mother, to be the father, to be the leader of your house that sets the godly example of who they are to be? And if you agree, say, we agree. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. <laughs> to all of you, angels are rejoicing. To all of you, the Lord appointed this moment in history for this to occur. Whatever happened before this moment, it's covered under the blood. Amen. Whoever you used to be, it's under the blood. The word of God says there is now therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. No matter who tries to bring up your past, it's been washed away. Amen. Amen. And if God isn't dwelling on it, then you shouldn't either. Amen. And so I just ask you guys, lift your hands with me. Repeat with me, Heavenly Father, I'm completely yours. I give away my old way of thinking, my old way of doing things, even old things that happened to me. I release it all to you. I belong to you. Do a new thing in me. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Okay, so the women go on this side. Just follow Delonda right now, and she'll take the women over that way. The men go on this side. Follow Pastor Jesse right there. And then when you're ready, Pastor Jesse, you can go ahead and begin. And while they're getting baptized, I want you to stand and participate worship the Lord together while they're being renewed today in the name of Jesus.
because he turned water into wine. So everybody in the house, we're going to sing his one, okay? Everybody in the house, we're going to sing his one. Just like this. Here we go. Water.
There's power. There's power in the yeah. blood. Wonder working. Hallelujah. In the blood of the Lamb. There's power.
take it back to verse 1. Verse 1.
Praise God. Let's give the Lord a big clap tonight, huh? Hallelujah. I'm assured of this. The Spirit of the living God is well pleased tonight. Amen. And He is here tonight. And I want to call the pastors. I want to ask if you just come across the front right here. Because the Spirit of God is here. Pastors, your wives, if you just come right now. Pastor Jim, come on. You know, I want you to, you know, because the Spirit of God is here. And I know that because we're here, there's needs tonight. And so we want to pray for you if you need prayer. So I'm just going to ask, as we just close out tonight, that we could, we could just minister to you if you need prayer tonight. So just come to the, one of these men and women of God and let them pray to you. And I want to just throw this in on the end. We took pictures of everybody getting baptized. And I'll give a copy to all your pastors, those pictures this week, so that you can get it from them. But we are just so excited about what God is doing for unity. And I just want to invite you to come right now if you need prayer. Because God is here to touch your life today as we continue to worship. I give myself, I give myself to you. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. 
Hallelujah. Why don't we stand and let's, yeah, let's give the Lord a big applause tonight, huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Yeah. Glory. Father. Yes. Father, we thank you for the addition. Lord, you're the God of multiplication. And Lord, you've been multiplying in this city. We thank you for all the lives tonight that have committed to you. And we pray, Father God, that the next time we come together, there would be even more, Father. That, Lord, that the church of Jesus Christ would rise up in this city. And, Lord, we would win the lost and we would see souls come into the kingdom of God. And, Father, I pray a blessing over every person here tonight. I speak healing into every body tonight. I pray provision over them today in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father God, that you bless them indeed as they go their way. And Lord, that you, Father, would just be glorified in this night tonight. We thank you, Father God, for unity in this city. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen! Hallelujah! You don't got to run out. You can stick around and visit and connect. We're the body of Christ. Just love on each other as you go out tonight. And God bless you guys, and we'll see you in three months. No, wait, wait, wait. We have the National Day of Prayer this Thursday right here with 12 churches. We in Christ United, and we invite all of you to come back this Thursday to pray for the city of Corona and the nation of the United States of America together this Thursday night at 7 o'clock. God bless you guys.